So another thing you're thinking is a feature to change or select the size of a function. Oh, okay. Now you've hit a you've hit a, a hot topic for me. So explain more. Oh, no. <laughs> explain more. What you mean by by the size of a function? So, and the reason I ask, and the reason that some people are saying, "Oh no," is because it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Let's let's go to let's go to a function here, for example. Let's actually go to main because that's a non-trivial function. So, the reason that I ask, the current function object in Binary Ninja has a thing called total bytes, and that's literally actually I think current function dot basic blocks. I take a basic block and I. Oh, is there a, I think just there's a size in the basic block, or is there a bytes? I mean, there's just the ends minus current function dot basic block zero dot start, right? So this is the number of bytes in that basic block. And if I basically do that same thing over all of the basic blocks of the function, I get the sum of the bytes of the basic blocks of the function. Maybe that's what you mean by by total size. But that's going to be different in some cases than the highest address minus the lowest address, which is another potential size of the function, right? So you'll notice up here, the total bytes is one, one, two, four, and the highest minus lowest is one, one, two, three. Now in this case, it may mean they're essentially equivalent, but it's just depending on how you're counting, there's not by one, but you can have discontinuous blocks. You can have data inlined in between basic blocks. This happens actually a lot on ARM. Compilers are starting to do like common function epilogues where like if several functions end the same way, they'll all just jump over to one piece of code way far away, and then that's where they're actually returned from. And that will completely throw off all these calculations. Binary Ninja does not let you tell it what a function is. You tell it where the function starts, and it will just do its analysis and find all the code paths through that function, create all the basic blocks, and, and that's the size of the function. So there's really no concept of like, no, I wanna make that function longer. What you can do is you can change the control flow. Like if there is an indirect control flow, that is improperly calculated, there's ways you can you can change that to say, no, no, go find these ba other basic blocks. And then it will just, the analysis will continue and we'll update and we'll figure that stuff out. But there's really no concept of like, add these bytes to this function because the question is, well, like, well, how are they related to the rest of the basic blocks? Like the whole concept of a function is that it's a series of related basic blocks that are related, that are connected via some control flow, right? And so you can't like add new bytes to it without saying how they're related to the rest of it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. All right, okay, I'm done. I'm done with my function size rant for now. 